Hey guys, it's Mike Petri here. Um, I'm talking to you about a couple different uh, sample libraries I've come across um, this past month that I think might be useful to you. If you are a creator of video game music, or really I can see this being used in like different kinds of electro pop stuff too. But um, yeah, so this, this first one we got here is uh, from, uh, it's called the Monster Sanctuary Toolkit. And it is from uh, simplesamples.com. And I really uh, enjoyed using this. It's, I think like the whole simple samples ethos is that it's just simple instruments that don't have, like there's not a whole lot of customization, but that's kind of the appeal of it, that these are things you can just plug in and immediately start using and not have to fiddle with. Uh, it does require, I believe, contact six. Um, and if I pull it up here, you should see it. It's just a nice, simple interface. I've put them all uh, right here in the, the quick start folder. So it's all, you see that there's about, what, like 15 or so different uh, instruments here, but I've got them mostly lined up here. And we've got this piano. And I really like this piano. It's like very simple, but it's just got a really nice, really nice tone. And you can see these are grayed out right now, so that's even without any uh, any effects or reverb on them. Um, and we've got a whirly too. Got, I believe that uh, that delay is. Yeah, that delay is built in. A lot of these samples do have the delay sort of like built in so that if you're just playing normally, it's not going to really cause any issues for you. You're not going to notice it, but if you hold down the pedal, it's just kind of a subtle stereo delay that. Uh, this kind of enhances the sound. And again, like the purpose of that is like, even though it's not customizable, it's something that is just an easy addition. Like you don't have to worry about programming the delay time. And in most cases, the delay is not gonna interfere with the, the sound you're going for. Um, let me just play a little bit of this. Actually, I'm gonna go up to here. So that's volume two. Let's talk about that a little bit. So this is, uh, again, these are all instruments from the uh, Monster Sanctuary Toolkit and not a whole lot of uh, extra processing that I've done on my end. You see that we've got some compressor um, going on. I've got some delay, like some general reverb here on bus one and two. Bus 11 is, uh, it's uh, the SNES verb um, that I think is from Impact Soundworks that kind of has that that reverb or delay that if you've ever played Donkey Kong Country, you definitely recognize. Um, so I'm using some of that and I've got some gain, this gain plugin I just use really just to swap left and right because some of these um, samples or some of these libraries do use like, they do favor one side or the other just in a way that's like, again, if you're not touching any of the settings would work for you as you're starting to put them together it's very easy to be like, okay, this one instrument already favors right, so I'm just gonna throw in this game plugin that simply swaps left and right so that I can uh, balance my sound a little bit better. But yeah, I've just got this whirly, then I double with piano, um, you know, up the octave. Just kind of give it a little shimmer. And then what we have here, we have kick and hi-hat that are coming in together. And I believe these are separate instruments. Yeah, and I just basically layer them on top of each other in contact um, because the layers of them were, yeah. They kind of automatic, uh, automatically didn't overlap on the keyboard. 
So this is easy to consolidate them into one place. Um, then we've got the synth, synth bass. That's a lot of body, and we, oh yeah, this is, um, now this is technically a xylophone, which we play in a higher register, is like this, but if you play it in a super low register, we just, <laughs> you'll notice, as I get lower, the pitches disappear, and we just kind of have, like, the noise attack, and I found that this is really uh, usable as a snare drum, and I've got some, um, I'm using some delay on that, too. Um, so let's play the second half so we can hear those all together. So what am I adding here? There are a couple of synth. So I've got this one sort of like pad synth. Kind of has a Mellotron flute vibe to it that I like. And blow that. Sorry, it's so quiet. Let me bump that up. Just kind of a, like a very NES style uh, square wave. Um, kind of reminds me of Blaster Master. Um, and here we go with, let's listen to the next section. Yeah, so I'm just adding this uh, synth bell patch to sort of just give a little shimmer and it's got some delay on it too. game audio uh, fashion. We're I'm working on with a loop here. Um, so yeah. What key am I in? in e flat. So just got this really nice um, pad and you can see I put pedal delay. It's another one of these instruments that has the delay built into it so that you can just kind of You can just hear the delay just sort of like shimmering in the background there. Um, and a couple, uh, you can see for this one, uh, these are nearly, I think, all of the instruments in the uh, Monster Sanctuary Toolkit. I've also got the synth cello. Sounds more like a synth but, than a cello, but I think that's uh, the point. cool sound. I didn't see a room for it in this demo, but um, so cool. And this is a steel drum. So that's fun too. Um, but anyway, yeah, I found this to be a really uh, small, tight, compact, but surprisingly robust uh, sound set. So I would definitely recommend uh, Monster Sanctuary. And so let's move on to talk about another simple sample uh, library, um, uh, the Beard Blade Toolkit. Okay, so now I want to talk about another toolkit from Simple Samples, and that is the Beard Blade Toolkit. And I'm very excited about this one. Um, as much as I like Monster Sanctuary's toolkit, uh, Beard Blade's toolkit is super uh, robust and we have a lot of options. I think, um, yeah, over 40 different instruments here. I've got, I think them, I think all of them loaded. Um, and my goal was originally to write a demo to showcase uh, this library. Then I realized that there's way too many instruments. So I, ended up making four different short uh, game type demos, but you can see I still like have over 10 <laughs> instruments that I didn't get, didn't get around to. Um, so let's just listen to these one by one and just kind of talk about what we hear.
So, but first we've got something I call a Cave of Wonders. Great, so what do we have here? Um, we have this quote unquote cave piano. Um, it's probably, I imagine a lot of these things that have descriptive names are based on the original game Beard Blade. Uh, and that, that should be pointed out too that these uh, sound sets were based on uh, games that composer Stephen Malin worked on and created these sound sets from, one of which being Monster Sanctuary, another being Beard Blade. So here we have a cave piano. And again, that delay is built in. Let's see, and I've got a little EQ on here. Um. Just kind of a nice like 16-bit era piano. You can sort of hear the down sampling. It's really nice. I really like that, that delay too. Um, great. And, here we have harbor pad. I'm assuming that there was a harbor stage in Beard Blade. Kind of sounds like a good, like, NES style, like a square wave uh, swell, which I really like. And we've got those bazooki, which kind of has like, almost like a dulcimer or a guitar vibe to it too. Just really pretty. And then just kind of like a standard uh, electric bass. It wouldn't be an SN SNES style uh, RPG sound without just kind of having electric bass under <laughs> all these other uh, pretty instruments. And I like there's a little bit of a you know, fret slide in there. And I like when we get to that G, when you hold them out, some of them have a little bit of a Vibrato to him too, which is nice. And this is just a a hi hat. I'm also going to bring up this keyboard just so we can see it. Yeah, so so you can see that this is like a hi hat patch, and I've added my own reverb. Added again this SNES reverb from Impact Soundwork, but uh, it just kind of reacts to pitch, you know. So the higher you go. Yeah, you can really just customize however you want that sound to, to work. Um, and that's all I'm using, just using those five instruments for this, this sound. It's pretty rich and you know, to me sounds very SNES, but uh, I don't know, it feels, I, I feel like this uh, library has given me a lot to work with. Um, even you know, just using a few amount of samples, few instruments really has a rich sound. Okay, so next we're gonna move on to this uh, other track I'm calling Seaside Market, which I think once you hear it, you'll see why I called it that. Yeah, so here we go.
breakdown here. what I'm doing here. This is just a xylophone um, layered with a kalimba, which is, you know, sort of like a little, like a thumb piano. Um, and just using these standard bongos. A lot of different bongo tones. It's not just, um, not just your standard. It's not just like one sample that's pitched a different lot of ways. It's different attacks, different size bongos, so a lot of options here. Um, and this orchestral percussion, it's got all sorts of sounds, kind of your standard range of, um, of MIDI percussion, general MIDI percussion. And you can see all these things right here, these instruments, like the shaker, the triangle, guiro, clave, are just uh, duplicates of that instrument. So these are all on one, the same patch. Um, and this trumpet's really cute too. You know, I can see using that too as a synthesizer, you know, with swells. Some delay, that could be nice. Um, so moving on, we've got a track I'm calling 39th Street, uh, which is just, I try to think of like, you know, a street I don't want to hang out too much here in my home in New York. Um, but uh, yeah, let's take a listen to this one. So this one's a little more repetitive. It's more background music, but what we, we've got this electric bass going on and this, this cool, really kind of aggressive uh, electric piano. I guess it's closer to a whirly, but it still has, it's got a lot of bite to it. I haven't really done much to it, just some simple EQing um, and this. It's called Forest Pad, which is just a really sort of like, just a textural synth in the background. And we've got a drum kit. Um, which I've layered with this snare, beer blade snare. Where is it? Yeah, now this I added a lot too. Like, this is what it sounds naturally. But when I added this clip distortion to it and some EQ, it just was able to bring out different tones in it. Yeah, you know, well, what's cool is just adding the clip distortion keeps all that uh, reverb in there really makes it known. And so it, it has a more presence as a, as a snare doubler. Uh, so I really, really like that. Um, and moving on, I think we just add some more synth elements. Yeah, it's Elixir synth, that's that sort of shiny, it's kind of a very Sega Genesis sound to me. And we're gonna add the square wave here. really about it. Uh, we just kind of just take us to the end to get us through the loop. Um, but let's look at the fourth and final demo I made for this, uh, for the Beard Blade Toolkit, which is called Sacred Ground. Uh, let's take a listen. And this is the uh, Harbor Synth. And with these ensemble flutes coming in which kind of has a Mellotron feel to it. It's really sweet, really nice. And we're adding this piano here in a second.
before we go on, let's talk about that. The percussion here, we've got a, a taiko or taiko, which is this real, real simple, but really effective as sort of like a warm bass drum feel. Then we've got like this, where is it? Oh yeah. These factory sounds. So we've got these clangs and these kind of gears and pistons, which are pitched. So, oh, what's here? Some anvils too. <laughs> which are pitched too, so you could, you could play melodies on that. Um, that's really exciting. I didn't realize that, so I'm excited to use that later. Uh, so let's come to this next section. I introduced some harp and some pan flutes. Final Fantasy magic there. And as you can see, I have kind of the double pan flute here in these uh, saxophones. And a different sound here with the harmonica. And uh, oboe and clarinet are playing those counter melodies. And all the had elements there are strings and accordion and a pipe organ too. So this pipe organ's really nice. Let's bring that up. Uh, yeah, so what else? The harmonica I thought was really nice. Really nice sounding instrument. There it is. What else? The harp is really nice. And that has some natural uh, delay on it. Um, yeah, but in general, I really didn't add a whole lot to these instruments right out of the box as I'm going down and seeing, um, you know, there's some natural reverb on most of these. There's a uh, this last delay or this last bus here is on the SNES synth or SNES reverb. Um, but yeah, those are the four. I mean, it's crazy because I thought, okay, I'll make one demo to show off the sounds of the sample library. And it turned into two, then it turned into three, then it turned into four. And there's still like all these that I've not used. Um, so I'll just give you a general overview. We've got timpani, and some of these are um, versions of other, like we have, you know, the muted trumpets, we have an imp trumpet, which is, I don't know if that means imperial trumpet or actual imps, but it's a little more mellow. And we have this pits with built-in delay. And you can play that without the delay if you just let go of the, if you don't use the pedal or let go of the the notes, then they won't trigger the, the delay. But if you kind of need that fuller sound, maybe a little more mysterious, it's kind of nice to have them in there. But we've also got theremin, we've got steel drum, we've got flute solo, which is monophonic. Um, and same with, uh, we have an oboe that I used up here, but an oboe ensemble. Almost has an organ-like quality to it too. Uh, and horns too. Which is a uh, synthy to my ear, but I think is could like if you're you know making a uh, 16-bit or 8-bit style game that could really uh, you know fill that role for if you're writing orchestrally for um, you know an older game, older style game that would really work for you. But yeah, so these those are uh, these two new sample libraries I really like. Um, overall, I think there's a lot of value in both of them. 
I know if you go to simplesamples.com, you can pick up a, a pack that has both instruments. Um, if I were to, or you can buy them separately. If you are only able to buy one, I would say at this point, like Beard Blade has a lot more instruments, but I think Monster Sanctuary is great in terms of having a lot for you too. So if you can uh, afford both, I would definitely recommend it. And there's a lot of other great stuff. Um, and I'm gonna drop a link down in the description that you should follow. Uh, I do get uh, affiliate, you know, uh, dough from that if you use that link uh, at no extra cost to you. So if you do want to pick these up, please do use that link. I would appreciate it. Um, yeah, and I really like these uh, libraries. Uh, and let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, and that's all I got for now. Take care, guys.